Hi there Wargamers, this is 11th Legion and this is a HeroQuest project. Hi there Wargamers, this is the Downbringer here. Uh, this time it's uh, me starting my little uh, vlog or um, record of um, progress through an epic hero quest project including some fr um, 3d printed board um, customized custom bases that I'm going to be um, going to the trouble of taking all those minis off the, uh, their bases so that's a bit nice um, mammoth task for that so I've, I've even gone to the point of buying myself a little um, miniature sander this is the most cutest thing ever I think um, I know I'm weird but so we all are a little bit. So I've got a good bag full of bases and um, we've got a lot of minis to crack on with so we'll get the camera down we can have a closer look at the um, components that I've printed so far and stuff like that and um, all the other stuff. Right, catch you in a second guys. Right guys, as you can probably know, no doubt tell I've um, got a little array of models out that I've um, already started well, not really started much on these ones. These are just the, the basic ones required for the game. So I've, I've left myself a um, bunch of the bunch of minis so I can still play it while I'm um, crafting this project. But I've um, started a process for process of removing bases off um, all the minis. Um, still a bit of work to do tidying up these ones, but you get the idea. Um, you've seen. No doubt you've seen the other, these guy minis already. If not, there's um, there's a link to the unboxing video down below, where I get a close look at the actual um, contents of the uh, Mythic tier box set. So let's. I've been printing off um, floor tiles for Hero Quest. This is one of the obviously one of the longer parts of the longer corridors. Uh, they've got all these little holes where magnets are going to go eventually to actually hold the board together, uh, so it can be stored easier. I've gone to the trouble of um, hollowing out these parts. These are from a, a, a patron called uh, Dragon's Rest. Fantastic value for what you, for what you get. Um, hindsight, maybe it would have been cheaper to buy a, a, an FDM printer to do all these uh, large pieces rather than doing them re resin because um, as, you, as you can see I've gone through um, many colours and many bottles of resin. Um, you might even be able to hear my uh, pr prison printer going off in the background um, still, still going now uh, with all the final pe final corridor pieces and I've got, then I've got all the walls to do um, so let's have a little move of this camera so it's pointing at what we want to look at so these are just a few of the, uh, the rooms that I've uh, printed off so far and this is the, the idea is uh, magnets going here and here and it and then it, uh, the walls just magnetise to the actual surrounds of the rooms and you can just move the the, the walls and doors out uh, to put doors in and whatnot and even the doors are um, movable so you can open, just uh, instead of having to replace the doors for, for an open door like the actual base game you can just um, open the door to when you uh, go into a room there's even like secret door tiles and stuff like that that are, free, that are nice 3D elements. This is one of the one of those uh, rooms with a weird shape on it. Some nice variation in tiles. Uh, it's going to be quite a, 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 an epic task to print uh, to um, paint all this up. Because yeah, these are just this is just a small um, fraction of the ones I've printed. And then uh, we've got the the base toppers that I've, I've done. I've just uh, printed off a um, a simple, uh, it's not cobblestone but it's a, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a pavement stone type thing that's just, um, you know, I've gone over some air drying clay with some um, with a foil ball and then uh, then with the actual um, texture roller and then I've um, Gone, I've, I've made, printed myself, designed myself a little uh, 25 mil um, cookie cutter type thing, um, which if I had my sensor with me, I'd have brought, I'd have brought with me. And uh, through the magic of uh, 
video editing, I've grabbed the texture roll that I printed off. Really, actually, this was really quite cheap um, in the grand scheme of things because it was uh, I, I hollowed it out. And printing. This is the um, my crowning achievement, my my personally designed uh, little cookie cutter for twenty precise twenty five mil width for the bases, and I've got the um, some of the walls. Obviously, there's round magnets going there with a little clip to hold them in, and then. Um, They'll snap onto the uh, the corresponding round magnets round like like that, and then I've got one of the doors here as well. I mean, the guy's even um, modified his doors a little bit for me. So normally they print off um, as one single unit, and uh, they're just basically open and shut due to how FDM printers work. Because obviously Muppet here is uh, printed it in resin. He's sunk. Um, holes for magnets in, in the door frame for me in his design so the door just opens and shuts like that obviously I just need to put some more magnets down there for, for when it snaps on natural layer on the board so I've got a long task ahead of me um, a lot of minis to paint a lot of minis to um, to debase I mean um, these are the ones from the, from the mythic, mythic tier that um, I'm yet I'm still working on. Obviously, removing a lot on the base. I mean, that one's going to be a pain to remove from the base. Um, there's not even much base showing, but it might not be worth doing that one. But um, you get the idea, guys. So there's going to be um, some page updates coming, some um, some tutorials of in-depth how to create these things, and um, some maybe some painting updates and all on all that stuff right thanks for watching this little introduction guys into this little um, hero quest project it's gonna be quite um, quite a big task at the end and um, it's gonna be quite fun I think a lot of minutes to paint and um, some things to do with a bit of variation for me all right thanks for watching guys uh, drop us a like if you could and a comment of what you think so far and I'll uh, see you in the next one guys thank you and goodbye